जाओ जानी ना कि जानी ना मन की खोजे तब क्यों बुझे ना क्यों हसी गान शोका मन आकाशे क्यों पाखी उड़े ना जाओ जानी ना क्यों जानी ना हेलो एंड वेलकम टू व्हाट्स ऑन योर एसेंशियल गाइड टू आर्ट्स म्यूजिक एंड हैप्पीनेस आई एम सैम फ्रॉम व्हाट्स ऑन लंदन वी आर जॉइंड बाय स्पेशल गेस्ट व्हाट्स ऑन एडिटर्स एंड यू आवर फ्रेंड्स एंड सपोर्टर्स फ्रॉम अराउंड द वर्ल्ड As usual, we have all the exclusives for you. Let's check out with what's on editors. How are you, Sanjida? Yes, Samai, I'm very well. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So, people, thanks for your huge support on our previous episode. Who? Kahan se aate hai? বরাবরের মতোই আমাদের ফুল এডিটোরিয়াল টিম আপনাদের জন্য তুলে এনেছে বেস্ট ফিল্ম মিউজিক বুকস এন্ড ইভেন্টস ও মাই গড ওয়াও তাহলে চলুন দেখে আসি এই এপিসোডে আপনাদের জন্য বেস্ট পিকস কি কি থাকছে সো ভিউয়ার্স এবার আমাদের বুক রিভিউ পার্টে এডিটর নাওমি রাউন্ড আপনাদের জন্য বেস্ট পিকস দুটি বই তুলে ধরেছে দা নাম্বার 1 বুক ইজ দা অনলি প্লেন ইন দা স্কাই এন্ড ওরাল হিস্টরি অফ 9 क्षतिग्रस्त फैमिली रिसार्च कर गोपाल चेष्टा कर तो क्षतिग्रस्त जिनगुल तुले धरार और साधारण मानुष कत सपोर्ट कर मुविस सो एबार्ट बेस्ट एंड बेस्ट मुवि अपन सामने तुले धरते जा फार्ष्ट वन इज मोस्ट रोमान्टिक सिंड्रेला सबाई जानी पर्यत एक हजार बसि सिंड्रेला मुविज एंड तरह एडप्टेशन तैरि दिस द फार्स टाइम कैबेलो हू इज ए सुपार स्टार म्यूजिशियान से तरह लीड रोल हिसाब से सिंड्रेला अभिनय कर मुविटी रिलीज हो जुलाइय षोलो तारीखे एंड सेकेंड फिल्म जेटार नाम हो द लास्ट लेटर फ्रम यर लाभार ये मुविटी तेईस जुलाई नेटफ्लिक्स रिलीज हो द डेक्टर वज अगस्टिन फ्रजिल ब्रिटिश रोमान्टिक ड्रामाते आनी देखते पाबंध सिक्रेट लाभ लेटर्स एर स्टोरी एंड द पियोर लाभ एंड द पियोर रोमांस एंड साम मिस्ट्री एज यूजल एडिटर एडम हामप्रिस अपन पिक कर बेस्ट मिजिक और प्रथम मिजिकटी हर क्यों ना सब विख्यात हिप हप मिजिशियन टीम BTS and this song Butter featuring by Megan Thee Stallion. আমরা সবাই জানি BTS always আমাদেরকে hip hop song present করে থাকে এবং এই Butter song এও তারা সেই hip hop version ই pick করেছে for their music video তারা আবার একটু hypothetical intellectual videos আমাদেরকে gift করতে যাচ্ছে এবং আরেকটি জিনিস যেটা না বলি না এটা প্রথম সপ্তাহে Billboard এর top chart এ ছিল। আমাদের next music টি হচ্ছে Punjabi Vibe যেটা কিনা Diljit Dhonasa राज रंजत कोलाबरेट हो बनिए संग की सम्पूर्ण पाजाबी फिलिंगस एक संग तो अपनारा चाहले जेको फेस्टिवल एवं विूब इजिली संगटा के अपन पार्टी संग हिसाब से यूज करते दिलजीत एटर कोफिसियल मिजिक भिडियो क्रिएट करी से बोले इन भेरि सून हि उल मेक दिस संग नेक्स्ट कम इवेंट 
এবং আমাদের এডিটর নিকোল নিউম্যান আপনাদের জন্য দুইটা ইভেন্টসের ইনফরমেশন এখানে পিক করেছে দ্য ফার্স্ট ওয়ান ইজ পার্ক লাইফ আর পার্ক লাইফ ফেস্টিভালটা হতে যাচ্ছে ম্যানচেস্টারে হিটটন পার্কে আর এটা হতে যাচ্ছে এগারো থেকে বারোই সেপ্টেম্বর আপনারা যদি হিটটন পার্কের অফিসিয়াল ওয়েবসাইটটা ভিজিট করেন তাহলে খুব সহজেই জেনে নিতে পারবেন তাদের টিকিট অ্যাভেলেবেল আছে কি না তাদের ইভেন্টসের টাইম আর সেই সাথে এই ইভেন্টসের সব থেকে বেশি চার্মিং জিনিস হচ্ছে এখানে পার্টিসিপেট করছে ডেভ মেগান থ্রি স্টেলন ডিসকোলার ব্রুনা বয়েস অ্যান্ড সো 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 অন আমাদের নেক্সট ইভেন্টটি ওয়ারলেস আর ওয়ারলেস ইভেন্টটি হতে যাচ্ছে ক্রিস্টাল পার্ক লন্ডনে এবং ওয়ারলেস ইভেন্টটি হবে দশ থেকে বারোই সেপ্টেম্বর আর এই ইভেন্টে থাকছে ডিজে মোস্তা কে ট্র্যাব ব্ল্যাঙ্কো ডিগাডি এবং আরও অনেক অনেক ফেমাস ব্যান্ড আপনারা চাইলে তাদের অফিসিয়াল ওয়েবসাইটে ভিজিট করে কিভাবে টিকিট কালেক্ট করতে হবে সেটা জেনে নিতে পারেন অ্যান্ড ফর মোর প্লিজ ভিজিট আওয়ার ওয়েবসাইট অ্যান্ড লগ ইন হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ ডট গাইড আর তার থেকেও বেশি কিছু জানতে চাইলে অবশ্যই হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ ম্যাগাজিনটি করে থ্যাংকস টু হোয়াটসঅন টিম ফর দি হোয়াটসঅন বেস্ট এন্টারটেইনমেন্টস হোয়াট ইজ জব গোয়িং টু ইভেন্টস পার্টিস অ্যান্ড সোশ্যালাইজিং উইথ সেলেক্টস Today we have an exclusive from Bangladeshi influencer UNICEF ambassador a role model for the new generation someone very close to what's on mission and vision of empowerment please welcome one of the most popular youth leader with exclusive preview from her latest offering Mohurto live and direct one and only Raba Khan thank you for joining us today how are you doing thank you so much for having me i'm doing well uh, the weather is lovely here in bangladesh today and um i've just been you know because of the lockdown has been taken out so now the schedules are a bit busy but um I, i've i've been well i've been uh, very well alhamdulillah that's great so how have you been spending your time during this pandemic i actually didn't stop working because the work um, kept on because of the type the style of work that i do but it's promotional work mainly and making my videos it doesn't really um require me to go outside of the house anyways so um except for you know brand promotions and shoots and stuff i continued working so um it wasn't much of a break for me so basically this pandemic taught us that we should slow things down but it wasn't the case for you you kept on going pursuing everything that you want to do in your life and you have achieved so much in such an early age so that it's always something that you should pat yourself whatever you have thought about yourself when you're young how much did you achieve and how much more do you want to achieve i'm not very competitive in life in anything even in school i wasn't but what i do have is i have this in in a way where it's a competition with myself where i want to reach somewhere in my life and i set these goals almost every day and not in a conscious way i just want to get better fortunately enough i have gotten this news that you're releasing new single and trust me this was a very very exciting news for me so tell us a little bit about what's coming up writing music or um coming up with tunes or in general you know keeping my other work behind and being like okay i want to do something with music now i just didn't get the time for that and i just never thought that was an option for me but what happened was um i met arfat mohsen who also collaborated with me in this album and uh it was just a collaborative process and we went we went with it and uh we planned on doing an album and um what we're doing is in a very different way where in bangladesh this normally doesn't happen like this but um we're releasing each song individually but it's a part of one album so okay. our album's name is mohurto and uh it's just about every single moment every song resonates with that idea and uh we've released already three songs already um in in a different different time um frame but um three songs have been released and we plan on making seven in total so four are left and um the new one is coming very soon uh in charge this week so we're really excited for that but our first song jao janina was a surprise hit we absolutely did not know and this is the first time i co-wrote the song uh co-wrote the songs in the album and i also um co-tuned it as well it was all composed by him and uh and the mixing and the mastering was done by Arfad Kirti so altogether this was something that we didn't think we were going to do but it just happened 
So I think that's how the name of the album also worked out really well because it just happened in the moment. That's great. So you say that you co-wrote that song. So when you were writing that song, definitely it took a lot of time and effort. So what was your inspiration behind this? Like what inspired you? What inspired me was Arafat Mohsen because he um along with um myself we both wrote the songs together and all of them together. So there's seven songs all of them we wrote together and it just happened so easily, so effortlessly. uh so he was telling me how i had it in me this entire time i just never explored it and he had to make so my inspiration behind it was i think um the moment at that time because um even during the lockdown we progressed most of our uh, work because i wasn't getting out of the house so we did most of our work then but before that we planned everything but um because of the lockdown we were able to sit down and put our work aside for a bit and then think of this project but we never even intended it to be a full album but um afterwards we were in a flow where we started making more songs and we were like we need to um you know we need to package it into one project and then we came up with the idea of the album so that's how it happened so what is the title of your new song my uh, new song is going to be ja ure ja so the first one was jao janina then we did donka hawa and then we did moharani and this one is going to be ja ure ja okay so are you just going to surprisingly drop it or you have an exact date this week when it's coming out no we we're thinking of promoting it a little bit um but we're not exactly sure which day we want to put it up you know because bangladesh is very unpredictable in our social media circle where new things are happening every day is difficult to pin a date for um a release especially with music um so we're trying to um at least promote it for 3 to 4 days before and then drop it so you're going to i'm going to send you the link once it's released can we expect a video okay so we have plans um but not right now after maybe the entire album is released we're going to uh pick and choose some songs for music videos but right now we don't plan on doing it if there's been one advice that stuck to you what what was that so when i was 13 uh, a family member of mine um you know sat me down and explained to me in a very it wasn't even in context <laughs> it it came actually very irrelevantly where she sat me down she told me how um the only thing that you can possibly do is to invest in yourself and to work on yourself because you know people are going to behave the way they want to behave and they can say whatever they want to say to you uh what matters is how you react to it and how you take it So you can't really change people's behaviors you can't change what people say what they do they can probably it can bother you but you have to change yourself and be way more accepting than you are today and uh, just work on yourself invest in yourself make sure that you you are all that you ever need and that you can be um you can sustain a life where you don't really need any guidance or any you don't need it maybe you can want it one day um you can one day feel like okay i think i should take some advice from people or i think i should um take some help but make sure you never need it so um build yourself in a way where you're um you know you can be dependent on yourself and your self sustaining so that's i think the best learning that i've had and i'm very glad that i got that learning and i got this advice at a very early age apart from everything you're doing right so what are the things that you do for yourself for your own self like when you're free absolutely okay this my brother and uh, my entire family makes fun of me for is um they say the rab anything raba likes doing she monetizes it i think okay. that's true is because everything that i possibly do be it singing be it content writing or even mimicking people or observing things that li- i like and, you know i enjoy doing I've done it professionally. So I think what I do for my enjoyment and for my own fulfillment which I have not monetized yet is painting and uh, dancing because I really enjoy dancing and I'm a trained dancer since I was oh. a kid um but I never really 
upload many dance videos or anything like that is something that i do for myself and maybe one day i will we are living in unprecedented times it's very difficult we are practically swimming in the same ocean but some people are in the boat some are with a life jacket some doesn't have anything some are in the ship but anyways we are in the same situation right so if there's one thing you think that can and a lot of other things going on as well climate change deforestation inequalities a lot of things so if there's this one thing right now you think the world needs more than anything else what would it be i think hope unity there's so many things that we can easily do but we just choose not to sometimes and i think that's what's the most frustrating because human beings have the power to do so much in the world right okay. and sometimes we just avoid it sometimes we're like yeah let's not and that's what is frustrating because we just have the power to make most of the change that the world needs right now and we still choose not so i think just to have hope and uh, to all be together to to think positively to take care of our individual mental health because um you know what happens is even for activists there's a burnout that we see you know because at at a point you you feel like in this life you can't sustain a, a place um where you can you can keep going forward and wanting to change the world you want to you realize that it it gets exhausting sometimes there's an activist burnout there's a reason why people say that and i think we should all realize that we need to take as much breaks our mental health requires us to take in order for us to make this world a more sustainable happier place where every single individual can be who they are so that we we have a accepting power so we can accept the world the way it is but obviously wanting a better change for our children for our our animals for our environment for everything um for every single human being we as as human beings i think we should all take the responsibility and we should also take the accountability of the things that we don't do so i think we should be a bit more responsible in our actions and even our words if you could be anywhere in this world right now where would you be right now exactly right now you could teleport anywhere right now i would probably yeah. go to dubai a friend of mine lives there and uh, his son is getting so old he's 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 getting old and he's a baby and he's growing into this super cute man now <laughs> at least that's what i i think and uh, it's his birthday and i really would want to go and give him a hug because the last time i saw him was 3 years ago and mm-hmm. uh, you know how kids just grow up really fast so i just want to go and just stop time so yeah. i'd go to dubai right now to meet my friend and uh, his son and if it, there's one thing that you would want to eat right now just right now <laughs> eat right now i would love to eat some pani puri from kolkata i would love to have some pani puri right now. so what's your favorite destination I I didn't get the chance to travel too much because I started working too early in my life mm-hmm. and what happened was every single time I traveled I traveled for work so I didn't get to explore many destinations I didn't get to go and check around some tourist spots or things like that even even the places that I've traveled to I've only been in hotel rooms and I've only been in conference rooms um or like in offices so I didn't get the chance to explore too much but I really enjoy currently i've been missing malaysia a lot um even though i've been there twice and both the times i was there for work i still just the amount of time i got to roam around free i just really enjoyed the vibe of the city so especially kuala lumpur i really enjoy so i really like that place i'd love to yeah. go with- if you can give us a quick rendition of the song just one two lines for you <laughs> the new one i i would like it to be a surprise i didn't tease okay, it at okay. all i think my first one a little bit at uh, oh, great i yes. love so much it's called jao janina so okay. it's jao janina kichu janina mon ki khoje to wo keno bujhe na keno hashi gaan shoka shoye na mone rakhe keno pakhi ure na কেনো তোমার পানি বসে থাকি জানি না যাও জানি না কিছু জানি না so what are the other projects that you are involved in that we as a fan we should, we are looking forward to new videos are coming soon new format of videos are coming soon so i hope uh, 
I am not going to disappoint because this is uh, nerve wracking for me because I really did decrease the amount of videos that I upload. But um, hope th that really um, brings a lot of expectations from the fans. So what happens is um, I get really nervous and anxious before I upload, but I hope uh, I don't disappoint. There's so many new videos coming soon. You had a book made up on your life, a memoir. What do you think would be the title of that book? In a, in a funny way, I would call it Dhongi. Okay. <laughs> but um, otherwise, uh, I would call it probably a girl who did whatever she wanted to do. Who is your most favorite person in this entire world? Oh, it's very difficult to choose. I think it's my family, my brother, my dad, my mom. Apart from your family, who is this one person? Can be a celebrity, can be an activist that you really, really looked up to from a very young age or even now? Very early on, I realized uh, not to really idolize or even look up to celebrities because, you know, they have their own set of flaws and they sometimes turn to um, disappoint, which is why I also tell people to not look up to me in a way where they follow things that they do or because sometimes you know human beings we're meant to make mistakes no. and uh, we're meant to learn from them but sometimes people don't learn from them you know so in that case I really realized that I don't really want to follow a path of anyone or I don't want to but people have inspired me and uh, in the inspiration way if if I speak about content seven years ago Lily Singh was doing really well in her um, in her own path and she was the first person in mainstream content creation where she really did portray, you know, brown girl problems. So that's how it kind of, um, not really, um, that's not the reason I started, but it definitely helped. Because, you know, seeing someone um, doing something that you want to do, having a path to walk on is much easier than to create one. So she created it, which was de definitely much different much more difficult than someone following it. But without her, I don't think so many of content creators would have even happened. So I think um, it was inspired by her work. We are coming to the end of this interview. So if there is one thing you want to tell to your followers and fans, what would it be? I would say thank you so much for supporting me till now. It's been too long. Seeing my face, I'm sure you guys have gotten bored. You guys have gotten annoyed. But thank you so much for still not unfollowing me. Thank you for um, putting your expectations in my hands. For, for, for you know, I'm, I'm just so grateful for being able to entertain so many people in my life. And uh, I just feel like everyone's my friend. And uh, they can just give me a, their opinions. They can share what they think it was went wrong. Or they can share what they think was lacking. So I take everyone's... Um, a constructive criticism all the time. So um, I just I just want to say that I'm really grateful and I'm very thankful for their support. That's great. That's absolutely amazing. And I just have to tell you that, um, you know, if someone is having a very bad day, one video of Rava Khan can truly cheer them up. That's very strange. Yes. And all the best. You are doing so much good and we need more people like that. And, and trust me, you are an inspiration for the youth in Bangladesh because uh, we do not have much platform and we do not have much uh, material to work on. And, you know, we need more people, more inspirational people who just guide them to, you know, understand like what we can do to improve our situation in Bangladesh, especially in Bangladesh. So there are a few people that I can actually talk up to about all these issues and you're definitely in the top of that list. And there's nothing but just, you know, gratefulness and inspiration and, you know, just someone to look up to. So thank you for being that person. Thank you for being that role model to so many people, so many young people, especially. My niece is also a huge fan of you. So oh. yeah, thank you very much for all your contribution and best of luck for every project that you're working on and keep on making those videos, keep on entertaining us. But at the same time, try to stay happy and do whatever makes you happy. You know, you should sometimes slow things down and, you know, focus on the mental health as well because it's very, very important during this time. So keep a balanced life and just, you know, whatever makes you happy and God bless you. Have a wonderful day and thank you very much for joining us in Watson's show. And it was just a pleasure meeting up with you today. Thank, thank you so you. much, Robertson. Thank you. That was great. What a hero. Remember, Watson brings you all the exclusive you need to know. After this 9-11, the whole world, when a shampoo no pithivita cannot change. 
আর তাই আমরা চাচ্ছি যে আপনি যদি আপনার ইনসাইট গুলো আমাদের সাথে একটু শেয়ার করতেন অ্যাবাউট দিস 9 11 ইস্যুস টিংস কমরেডস এন্ড ফ্রেন্ডস 9 11 হ্যাজ চেঞ্জড হিউম্যান হিস্ট্রি টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দি কালপ্রিটস উই মাস্ট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হু बेनिफिटेड ফ্রম ইট তাই না ইটস ফেয়ার টু সে হু এভার बेनिफिटেডস ফ্রম এ সিচুয়েশন আর ইউজুয়ালি দি কালপ্রিটস লেটস লুক অ্যাট দি প্রজেক্ট for the new american century rebuilding america's defenses which i called the process of transformation even if it brings revolutionary change is likely to be a long one absent some catastrophic and catalyzing event like new pearl harbor according to hunter s thompson absolutely that this work in favor of the american administration this gave america the license to attack any country and take over their oil fields it has to be seen in a larger and very important context firstly let's not forget during the same year there are many reports which has been released the pentagon conducted the first of many training exercises that simulated a boeing 757 crashing into the building secondly the twin towers were brought down by explosives not planes the collapse of the north and south towers was an act of controlled demolition during the way the building fell so quickly and perfectly into their own footprint a missile hit the pentagon not american airline flight 77 every video footage and photos taken from the scene did not seem to show much evidence of plane wreckage thirdly the united states government knew about the attack and stood the military down a common belief amongst the truthers is that the american defense command deliberately ordered their flight jets to stand down and now the hijackers planes to reach the targets the america seemingly had the most powerful air force in the world but failed to intercept any of the planes that day which theorists believe is an indication of a government conspiracy to let the attack go ahead american government wanted to use the attack to justify an invasion on iraq libya and afghanistan to secure oil interests there is a huge suspicious questionable motives in the history of american government america and the elite establishment has history of flagging a false flag just look at the recent histories cuban missile crisis in 1962 america launched false flag terrorist attack against their own country america but blamed them on Cuba as a pretext to invade Cuba. Pearl Harbor, American President Roosevelt intentionally provoked the Japanese attack so Americans could dictate the course of Second World War and eventually attacked Japan with atom bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki and most recently radical Islam. The parallel paths of Islamic movement and neoconservative goes hand in hand. It is the failure of capitalism in both East and West that has allowed neoconservative, extremist and Islamist fundamentalist to fill the gap with nightmares and order to assert power and influence. Fear works well when people do not believe in anything, since the lack of faith makes them quite vulnerable. For the Islamist fear attempts to fill the gap in societies that have lost their Islamic faith and roots. For the neoconservatives, Religion is an instrument of promoting morality. Religion becomes what Pluto called a noble lie. It is a myth which is told to the majority of the society by the philosophical elite in order to ensure social order. So, truth is stranger than fiction. Don't just take my word for it. Please just watch these remarkable videos. Number one, loot change. And number two, the power of nightmares. Thank you. Okay, Samurai. Thank you. Thank you so much for your valuable insights and viewers. I'm Sanjida. What's up, Nisha? I'm going to talk to you soon. I'm going to talk to you soon. এবং ফর নেক্সট টাইম প্লিজ সাবস্ক্রাইব আওয়ার চ্যানেল অ্যান্ড বেল দ্য আইকন বাটন অ্যান্ড প্লিজ 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 লাইক অ্যান্ড শেয়ার আওয়ার ভিডিও এবং আরেকটা জিনিস আপনারা কিন্তু জানেন আপনাদের ভ্যালুয়েবল কমেন্টসগুলো আমরা খুব যত্ন সহকারে পড়ি এবং আপনাদেরকে তার রিপ্লাই দিয়ে থাকি সো প্লিজ আপনাদের কমেন্টস দিয়ে আমাদেরকে আরও ইন্সপায়ার করুন 
এবং আমাদের ওয়েবসাইটে লগ ইন করুন আমাদের ওয়েবসাইট হচ্ছে হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ ডট গাইড এবং অবশ্যই আমাদের ম্যাগাজিন করুন অ্যান্ড আনটিল নেক্সট টাইম দিস ইজ হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ ওকে দেখা হবে এভরিবডি ফিস লাভ ট্রুথ